Good Saturday evening, everybody, live and direct down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick weather update for Saturday night. This is our exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime. If you've never tuned in here before, thanks for joining us and keeping an eye on the weather with News Channel 3 available right here at our website, wrag.com slash weather. Questions, concerns, comments, ideas, email me down here, bottom of your screen, austin.onik at wrag.com. Currently in the backyard, we've got 86 degrees mostly cloudy skies a little bit of sunshine breaking on through no rainfall throughout the day today tonight's lows back in the lower 70s and tomorrow about mid-afternoon probably mid 80s depending on how much cloud cover we get to block out some of the sunshine it's possible we're going to be getting a lot warmer than that but at least it'll be a little bit less hot than what it was today beyond that doesn't really look like it's going to be too much on the hot side out there throughout the rest of the day so good news on that but unfortunately some very warm weather is going to be heading our direction in the next couple of days so if you have any plans for outdoors get set to get some very warm conditions out across the area and we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little while currently again seeing the possibility of showers and thunderstorms around and about that much dropping down out of the skies at this time the view from our st francis camera in and around cordova tennessee germantown parkway just barely visible in the lower portion of your screen this view visible on our weatherbug camera system this is available at w slash webcams fading sunlight over the student union at Ole Miss around the Crosby Cam and showing a few people out and about this very quiet view of Oxford and some billowing clouds out there in and around the southern view across the area but so far not much in the way of rain we'll take a look at the current conditions out there in just a little bit where it comes to rainfall olive branch from former mayor Sam Reichard's webcam on the weather underground system clouds and some sunshine mixed together so not doing too badly out there uh, more from the weather underground system numerous cameras across the the Mid-South area if you'd like to see more about that. Rhodes College in Memphis should be a beautiful sunset coming up here in about the next hour or so and temperatures very much on the mild side also from the weather underground system and plenty of other cameras out there if you've got them submit them we'd love to be able to see them and show them around for just a little bit earthquakes in the area it's keeping an eye on the new madrid fault as we do as we are that close to it in and around the memphis metro area so far we see nothing showing up in the way of showers or thunderstorms our direction uh, or earthquakes at this time either so good news a very quiet day out there next few hours temperatures again very much on the mild side winds will be out of the south and the red bar up there and we see again the possibility of some isolated showers and thunderstorms within about the next hour or so but beyond that we are just not really seeing too much of anything out there where it comes to anything involving rainfall notice again the zero percent chances down toward the bottom section of the screen so we're just not looking at a lot out there for the next couple of hours likewise in through about midnight not going on but notice what goes on here as we get closer to around one o'clock in the morning more chances of showers and thunderstorms start to pop up and this could be a bit of a problem for very early tomorrow morning around News Channel 3 daybreak. What exactly are we looking for? Well, here's a look as we run the numbers into the next and the computer models out there. Through News Channel 3 at 10, does not look like a lot going on, but we do still notice again the potential for more showers and thunderstorms out across portions of the Mid-South, isolated in nature, mainly down around Clarksdale, Water Valley, I-55 in that location. That's going to be about the main area we're going to be seeing anything in the way of concentrated showers or thunderstorms for the most part that's going to be pretty much about it out there but there will be more chances of them coming up as we go into very early tomorrow morning notice the area back up to our north that's where we start to see again some showers making their way into parts of the Mid-South as we get through about 3 o'clock in the morning. That'll be making its way a little bit closer to us as we get to around News Channel 3 daybreak, so we could see some showers and thunderstorms very early into tomorrow morning. And then as we get into tomorrow afternoon, that's where we start to see more chances of showers and thunderstorms popping up across much of the area. The added daytime heat, especially as we get into the afternoon, that's going to give us the main potential of stronger weather out there. It could be some severe weather. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. In the meantime, much, much of what we're looking at for right now is going to be in the afternoon and evening hours. Could be a slight possibility into the morning. Much of what we're looking at is going to be in the afternoon and evening, and that will continue right on in through News Channel 3 at 5 tomorrow afternoon. That does include the metro area and everything south. So further to the north as we get into around the early portions of the day and then the later portions of the afternoon, that's where we see again the possibility of more showers and thunderstorms after that. Looks like things start to calm 
calm down a little bit, but there still could be some more chances of showers and thunderstorms as we go out of the weekend and into next week. So we still see that potential for more showers and thunderstorms out there and that could be a potential problem for Monday morning commute time. So something to think about if you have any plans going on there. Let's take a look at severe weather chances. As we go into the rest of the forecast, we do not have anything major going on in the Mid-South for right now. Green area right across the Mid-South, that's where we see a marginal threat for severe weather. Pardon for the screen time lag. We are live right here. It just takes the computer a little bit of time to catch up on this. This is what we're looking at for tonight. And if you're traveling north to around St. Louis, basically anything along I-70, that's where we see, again, the potential for showers and thunderstorms. Heaviest activity in the enhanced version, showing again from eastern Kansas through Missouri and into around Illinois and far western and northwestern Indiana up to around Chicago. That's going to be the best threat of severe weather. Already severe thunderstorm watches and warnings in effect up there. Even some tornado warnings taking place. So this could be, again, something else to take a look at as we get into the rest of the forecast for the afternoon hours and evening hours tonight. Now the main threat for severe weather for the Mid-South is not going to be quite as intense. We're going to be seeing a slight risk of severe weather for basically all of the News Channel 3 viewing area. Anything in the yellow, that's where we see the highest potential of severe weather. What does that mean? That means right here in the yellow shaded areas where we could wind up with the possibility of thunderstorms that could produce mainly damaging winds, but there could be the isolated possibility of some large hail in there as well. Nothing amazingly huge. This is not going to be a great big severe weather outbreak, but here's the thing. As long as this threat is here, the threat for potential severe weather will be with us into the rest of the day tomorrow. So that means any outdoor Father's Day celebrations, stuff like that, this could be a problem. So again, remember when thunder roars, go indoors. Let's make certain we all stay safe out there and keep an eye on what's going on. The threat for severe weather leaves the area again early Monday morning. Could be some leftover showers and thunderstorms in parts of the Mid-South, but beyond that, we're just not really looking for too much of anything out there, and that's going to continue to make its way into the Mid-South area early on Sunday, through the day on Sunday, and then out of the picture by the time we head into Monday. Let's take a quick look at the forecast into tomorrow. Isolated showers and thunderstorms early. Better possibility of showers and thunderstorms as we get into afternoon and evening. And high temperatures tomorrow, right about normal. Not quite as hot as they were today, but still pretty well up there. And again, getting some very sultry uh, humidity out there at this time. That could be some very muggy conditions out there for the rest of the forecast into the next day or so. And the forecast from this point onwards outside of Monday's temperatures being in the mid maybe a few upper 80s out there there's really not that much left over in the way of cool weather anytime soon Monday's temperature that's going to be about as cool as it gets and that's going to be about it mid 80s for highs on Monday summer officially begins on Tuesday evening uh, just about midnight or so so we put the summer icon on Wednesday since that's the first full day of summertime so that seemed to be a more reasonable choice there to mark what's going on with the changeover in seasons the longest day of the year temperatures will feel much like summertime back in the lower 90s and that's the forecast throughout the course of the next several days little if anything is really going to be changing on this anytime soon so get set for some very hot conditions during the day and humid very humid and warm at nighttime temperatures for lows only back in the lower to mid 70s now Tuesday and Wednesday not much of a chance of showers and thunderstorms but we see better chances coming our way as we get into the forecast toward next weekend. So if you have any outdoor plans then, that also could be a bit of a problem. So think about that. We are watching an area in the Gulf of Mexico, which could be a bit of a problem. It's just a disturbance at this point in time. It's just off the coast of Central America, and it could wander into the Gulf of Mexico. Likewise, there's another one out in the Atlantic that is heading in this general direction. This could be a very quick start to hurricane season, depending on what goes on. We'll be watching that with a lot of interest. If you can't watch the forecast through the weekend. Tune in on the radio, Country 92.5 or Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network. And of course, don't forget about all my social media channels. I'm out there someplace. You'll be able to find me at various locations out there. We'll have an update on the forecast coming up on our main Facebook page at 8 o'clock tonight, just about 20 minutes until then right now. And of course, we'll have more on the late edition of News Channel 3 at 10 coming up this evening, so definitely want to stay tuned for that. Questions, concerns, ideas, again, right here is where you want to go to. Austin Onik at wrag.com and we'll keep you updated on what's going on with the forecast. If there's something you want to see here, let us know about it. We can't feature it if you don't tell us, so please let us know. 
see if there's something on here that we can feature that will keep you coming back for more from News Channel 3. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the latest Saturday evening edition of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining us.